Alrighty, hello everyone, Busy Gamer Dad back again for our third and final episode of Castle Crashers. I totally forgot to tell you guys about this in our previous episodes. Um, I think I might have edited it out or cut it over it, and I apologize. But uh, there are different characters to play in Castle Crashers, and each one has their own meta powers and magic powers. So the Lightning Knight zaps people, the Poison Knight actually does damage over time on people, the Eldritch Knight, I'm not certain what the Eldritch Knight actually does, but he looks pretty BA, I'll tell you that much. The uh, um, Pink Knight has rainbows and shoots uh, uh, cuddly animals out. Uh, the Alien, I believe, shoots laser beams. Uh, the Fire Knight does fire damage and uh, does a little bit of a damage over time as well, I believe. And then we have our standard Grey Knight, who does lobbing the grenades and shooting the arrows, very a la Link or uh, uh, any of those uh, would-be heroes that are standard knights without the fanfares of magic or anything like that. Um, there are unlockable characters. I We unlocked, and I say we, me and my friends, we unlocked the alien character uh, later in our playthrough when I was doing my um, game with them on our, on my, when I was playing the lollipop night, which you can see I got up to level 25. So, um, it's kind of a race to, to pick the character you want, uh, by the way, uh, because you can only have one in each of your playthroughs. So, keep that in mind as you guys maybe play with other people or um, play online. So, I don't believe I have any potions. I think that I um, used all my potions the last time, but we were able to get uh, get out of where we needed to go. We're level 12 now. Uh, I need to go to the castle keep. I'm going to buy some potions for us, because I'm good, but I'm not that good. So, I'll fight our way through here. We'll pick up some potions. And uh, we learned a new thing, that uh, your potions do not automatically uh, activate when you are playing solo. Um, wow, we're chewing through these guys now, which is pretty awesome. Um, good stuff, good stuff. So, I'm actually going for a defense build this uh, playthrough, which is fine by me. I mean, I I think it's uh, better to do that because we're... I don't think I can have more than five yet. I think it's better for us because I am on my own. Having a little bit more armor <laughs> is uh, probably the better choice for me. Uh, so, if you don't remember, I'll show you the, the... This is the Thieves store. So, there are other shops and you can buy weapons from them. Um, and you should. You definitely should. But here's where we can buy some bombs if we want to buy some bombs. Uh, I don't know if I want to do... You know what? We might as well. We have some money to burn. Sure. I think we can hold up to eight of these. Maybe ten. I'm not entirely certain. Well, it's going past eight. Nine. Nine. So in between eight and nine. So, oh, here's our dad joke. Ready? We'll do it right and early. That way you guys can go on about your business if you show, so need to, to get, uh, get on about your day. Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine... There you go. But you can see that we actually <laughs> went through a bunch of areas just from this one level alone. We started here at the forest entrance and we made our way all the way up through all these nodes um, up through here. I believe each one of these is a checkpoint. So if you did end up failing, you wouldn't have to start all the way back at square one. You could, in theory, go back and um, pick up where you left off. So here's the boat from the end of the last episode. Um, oh, is that a dig spot? This looks like a dig spot. It is a dig spot. <gasps> There's a weapon. <gasps> what is this? Minus one strength, plus one agility. Plus two strength, minus one agility. And this has got better bone crushing against undead. Are we going to be fighting undead? Well, we just found a new weapon. That's awesome. Cool. I'm so glad I get to do these videos with you guys. It makes me happy. I get to find things that I never thought were there. And there's another dig spot right there. <gasps> the pandas. And they have fish weapons. They're adorable, though. I love the one that just rolled over and rolled right back over. Like, no, nope, five more minutes, Mom. So, um, in the last video, you'll remember that we found the meta uh, way of doing this. And it's quite literally that. Just smashing them in the air when we go across the screen like that and we were able to, to beat the last boss because of it so let's see what's in here sometimes the dig spots are a little fickle a boot we got a boot that's okay that's all good man I got a new weapon I'm excited even if I didn't use it I got a new weapon I'm excited about it all right come at me bro oh he's getting ready to cast spells and he cast spells oh no There we are. No, no, I knew I was going to get hit by that. Mm, dodged. Yes. Oh. 
So you can tell they're casting spells because of like they're they're essentially effervescing, is what you see the little glow on them. Like if I hold down my trigger button, you'll see that I'm doing it too. And then if I press, um, oh, well, I'm using a PlayStation controller, so if I press triangle, I do my arrows. If I do circle, I do my bomb attack. I believe there's oh, there's a little another pet friend for us, making a little rain dance. Um, oh, he's like a little mini boss. Oh, yeah, you can't come at me, bro. Oh, it does that. Okay, so note this up. Oh, and I'm hit. Oh, and I'm hit again. All right, I'm gonna put on my potions just in case I need them because I don't want to die. That would be very embarrassing. There we are. I need to get into their melee. Is really what it comes down to. And I'm trying to get. I'm trying to thin the herd, as it were. But I don't know if I can do that or not. I'm just taking walloping hit after walloping hit. Oop, dodge that one. There we go. Do a little combo, and I got hit in the back. Of the okay, it looks like I have to fight this guy with these guys in the background because they're look. They, he respawned another one. They got a weapon for me though. We got the club. Oh, I probably wasn't the right level for it. So there are weapon levels in this game. You'll see that in the bottom corner um, of your um, of your screen uh, or of the weapon. Like it, it says the the weapon that you need to be or the level you need to be to use it. All right, so I'm just jumping around. I thought that would for sure hit him. Oh nope, that hit me though. I don't think I can hit him when he's in. Yeah, I can't hit him when he's in there. No, I want to hit you. Stop it. Let me heal. Make me look bad in front of my friends. Ah, uh, stop it. Oh, and you can't. Um, I don't believe you can. I shouldn't say this with any air of certainty, but I don't believe I am able to or allowed to um, block uh, magic with my shield. Maybe I can block the, the linear hits, but I can't block everything. Um, so, take that with a grain of salt. I thought this was 1v1 me, bro. 1v1 me. Why you gotta bring your friends? Show me how... Why you fight like a man? There we are. Good. And they're all dead instantly. That works for me. And I'll pick up their money. So, there's a ram... I don't think I need... I'd rather have the giraffe, because the giraffe... So your pets do uh, abilities in this game. Like, the giraffe helps us level up faster. That's why I'm level 12, 13 in the short time that we play together. The ram, I believe, stuns enemies randomly. So you'll see... Whoa! Hello there! Um, the... the Yeah, the, the ram stuns enemies randomly. Um, oh, and they're doing their thing. Yeah, I'm just going to Mario you. Oh, and he caught me in midair. Here, take the take the arrows to the face, you jerks. I just want to save the princess. Is it so hard to get to first base? Whoop. I'm swinging the wrong way. It would help if I swang the uh, swang swang. <laughs> it would help if I swang the right way. Oh, I'm gonna use a potion. And it doesn't look like I can stun these big guys. No, it looks like I just get my my stuff handed to me. There, okay. It looks like I can actually hit them with arrows when they're in their little spinning attack. There, yeah, you take the multiple hits. Seems like that's the way to go. Magic. Oh, he did a little freeze attack on me. Oh, and I got hit, and I'm going to get hit again. I'm going to get stun locked. That was my constructive criticism last episode, is that I am quite literally now getting destroyed because I'm locked in a corner. And the game doesn't allow you to um, move, essentially. Well, it looks like there is a damage over time on the bombs, which is good. Good, I got that big guy. There we are, good. You gotta make sure... Th so this is actually a pretty challenging game. For all the comedy that's in the game and all the cuteness that's in the game, it's a pretty challenging game. You gotta make sure that you're blocking. Like right here, if you're not blocking, you're not gonna live. It looks like there's a wave. 
And then if I just bomb it, yeah, that's what I needed to do. <laughs> See the comedy in the in it. Where <laughs> how do you get back here? All right. So is there any secrets back in there? Nope. Nope. Just bad guys over here. Oh, I got shot by an arrow. I'll just grouping them up is key because if you can group them up and hit them all, that's really great. I need that food. I need that food. Good. Awesome. Nice. Works for me. Works for me. So if nothing else, we got a level up out of this. So if we end up dying horribly. I don't think there's anything over here. Nope. Doesn't look like there's anything over here. Anything over here? Hello? Oh. Oh. I see a wiggling boulder. I don't know if I can do anything with it, though. Nope, doesn't look like I can do anything with it yet. wonder if there's something. Maybe you know in the comments if you do. Oh, maybe I can dig it. Can I dig it? No. But it's giving me the hit icon. That's weird. Alright, well, maybe you know. If you know in the comments uh, how to handle that, please uh, let me know so I can get more secrety secrets. There's the princesses. We gotta go save them. That dude, that dude just literally yeeted himself into the sky. How? how oh. Yep, I'm not a fan of this. There, take that, you jerk. Take the food. That didn't hardly heal me at all. That sucks. Oh well, off we go. Oh, bats! Bats! Many bats! Many bats! Oops, sorry, a little bit of a hitch right there. Alright, so what's in the cave? Let's see here. What's going on? What do we have? Oh, the obligatory blob level! Oh no! Look out! Smash! Smash! We got him. Don't worry, I'll save the day with my trusty meat mallet of smashery. Don't think that I won't best you, you jelly filled goo question mark I don't know they're gray so I can't say they're jelly maybe there's some type of well I guess they're maybe rock slimes I don't know I've been watching um, uh, an anime that's a kind of a slice of life anime um, by the grace of the gods and it's a kind of a slime rancher anime but very therapeutic I, and I, I actually have been really enjoying it uh, there's also the anime trope that you know slimes dissolve armor and stuff like that and I am not an anime maiden who will be exposed from these ne'er-do-well slimes inadvertently trying to dissolve my weapons and armor to see some skin as he says that and gets got by some slimes it's like comedic timing perfect but as you can see i'm not worse for wear and that shall be the only one they get from me as i smash you and your brethren for daring to try and rot my armor come at me foes i shall win you cannot oh that one's dead all right come back here you up here you Yes, yeah, you. The one with the beady oh, eyes. No, nope, so not you. The other one. Aha. Another one dead. Just these two, and then... Stop there bouncing around. Good. You're making it hard. There we are. One. Good. Okay. So, what's up here? A dead guy There's on the ground. On me. Bats. Bats? Big old bats. Oh, no. And he poops. I don't know what to do here. Like, I'm just gonna smack you. I don't want to get anywhere near you. Because you're pooping. And that's gross. Oh, you're weak against magic, it seems. I don't know if I can hit you while you're in the air, though. Stay away. See, so when your magic meter gets... Oh, yep, definitely don't want to get hit by that. So when your magic meter gets low... No, it doesn't hit him in the air. Um, you see that the spell just doesn't fire. I'm going to get hit. No, I'm not going to get hit. Aha, dodged you. Come on. Oh, 47 damage. Oh no, and the, there's bats in there. They're, they're, they're eating me. 
I can't see what's going on. I am quite literally stuck. I can't get by him. There we are. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. I, was, I didn't know that was a thing. I'm going to heal. Yeah, take that. Okay, good. The, the spell wipes them out. Yeah, these bats are super annoying. I think I got him below a health threshold, and that's why he did it. Ha, dodged. I can DPS. I win. You lose. I win. You lose. Ha ha. Good. You, you have. You gotta get that. Oh, and I got a bat pet because of it. Nice. Awesome. I think I'll just do the giraffe still though, because you know, gaining levels and all that stuff is pretty nice. <gasps> Treasure. Nice. Awesome. Well, a little bit of a shorter one, but I think it was because the other one was a little bit longer. That's okay. I don't mind that at all. Alright, this was Busy Gamer Dad showing you guys Castle Crashers. I think I actually am going to call this episode here. I'll show you guys what's going to come next, so in case you guys are interested in getting the game, uh, is the level screen. This is one of the things that you have to consciously decide. You can level to your point uh, to fill out, or you can level all the points in this and become a super powered everything. However, after level 20, you only get one uh, experience point or uh, um, power point, whatever you want to call it, to put into any one of these meters. I've never successfully done an agility build, and as far as I know, there's no way to respec your character. So if you go down the agility path, you're um, going to need to find uh, a way to make that work, because agility is for speed and archery. So your archery uh, is the bow and arrow. Everyone has a bow and arrow, um, but the thing is, it doesn't give you new bow and arrows. It doesn't give you ice arrows or fryer arrows or bomb arrows or anything like that, to my knowledge. Whereas it gives you different melee weapons, such as the you saw there the at the beginning of the episode, the crustacean stick or whatever the heck you want to call it, the crawdad stick. Um, that gave, you know, certain pluses and minuses to agility, to the rabbit, um, and to magic, I believe. It took one from agility and gave one to magic. Um, so my point being Pick something that you want to go down with. And as you can see on the magic tree, there are those little thresholds. That's when you can learn new spells or new spells, uh, new combos become available to you. Um, so each one has their own merits, like, you know, survivability, health, and defense. Uh, strength is just your melee damage. And then magic power, recharge. Uh, so I'm going to put a point into our magic and i'm going to put a, probably another point into our health and defense because again we're playing this game solo i'm playing this game solo at the moment so having the ability to be a little bit more tanky is always a good thing in my head but this was busy gamer dad showing you guys castle crashers in our third and final session gameplay uh here on the busy gamer dad channel where we cover a game each week pick it up put it down pick it up again over 20 30 minutes this is a wonderful comic relief game that uh is a goodie it's a little bit old you can play it with couch co-op you can play it with friends online i've been doing that with some friends to unwind and i can't recommend the game enough uh it's on all systems i believe it's on steam xbox uh switch and um uh, PlayStation. So pick it up for yourselves if you so choose. I will have the Steam link at the very minimum in the YouTube description for you guys. We'll catch you in the next week when we do our another game. We'll have for you guys to do another session game on if you so choose. Take care. Catch you later. Bye.